Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now we're going to do a bit of a fight pit here. Haven't we already done the fight pits though? I feel like we've already done this, but maybe I'm just not seeing it correctly. Anyway, yeah, I think we did do it once. I think our guy died, didn't he, or something like that? Well, anyway, we're going to choose Pash here. You ready for a lesson in warfare? Bring me another one! Oh, I'm a bit worried about this because I feel like this guy, the one that Pash is currently fighting against, is probably immune to fire. And Pash, of course, is using a fire weapon. They're both using fire weapons. So I'm a bit worried about this. And as you can see, he's currently not doing a very good job. Oh, they both... Okay. <laughs> they are both capable of being on fire. Why is Pash not fighting well now? It's really weird how they determine who wins and who loses because Pash is technically two levels higher he should be pretty decent at avoiding but he seems to get attacked much more often than you would otherwise want him to so very strange well who knows let's let's just hope that he can actually pull this back yes he is actually pulling it back now The guy does have a very cool looking helmet though. It's on fire. I mean, it's a, shall we say, it's a hot look. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot look, yeah. Anyway, Pash is absolutely fine. I think we will see him probably get a nice execution. There we go. Nice. And now he's level 32, so Pash is much more likely now to uh, betray us. <laughs> That's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so we got a we got a skill point here, and that now means we can unlock the next level, which is not this one. Where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, by the way, I've still been looking around for that last artifact in the world here, and I can't find it. I really don't know what's up. I have no idea, really. I've been trying to find it, and I just can't, so... I guess I'm just going to have to leave it, or something like that. Alright, so let's see if... Uh, do you think Pash is actually going to win this this time? I don't think he's going to be able to, to be honest, but who knows. Let's see whether he can. You're tough! Let's see if your guts are tough too! Come on now, I can do this all day! Now, let's hope that Pash gained a bunch of additional skills when he leveled up, because he was, what was he now? Level 29, and now he's 32, so maybe he gained an ability at level 30 or something like that. That would be quite nice, but as you can see, he's currently taking a lot of damage from the guy's execution moves, or I, I expect them to be kind of execution moves anyway. Anyway, thankfully, this guy is not immune to fire. He's now been stunned. That's great. Pash, do, a, do some kind of execution heavy damage move, please. Uh, it seems like he's, he's catching up. He's catching up in terms of damage. They're even. They are neck and neck right now. Oh, oh, nice counter attack right there. From Pash. He is five levels lower. Nice, nice. He's actually getting him. He's getting him. He's not on fire, though. He needs... Yes, there we go. He's on fire. Think this is in the bag for Pash. Oh, nice. That is a really nice, cool finishing move. Very brutal, but that's the kind of guy that Pash is. We know him. Look at his face. He's like, oh, yes. I did a good work here. I did a good work today. Yes, there we are. Uh, the 3,000 million is not actually that bad, and we also do gain a pretty decent chess piece as well. Gondorian armor. Let's take a look at the Gondorian armor real quick, just to see if there's anything good here. Now... Usually what I do is replace my current armor now, because it is a bit low level. But, do you see what it gives us? 55% less damage from enraged enemies, and 26% less damage from ranged attacks. Personally, I feel like the 55% less damage from enraged enemies is really good, and I think it's probably going to save us getting insta-killed, so... That's what I'm going to be doing, really. It's kind of a shame, really, that I'm going to have to do that. But, yeah, there's also level 20 upgrade challenges for all of my other chess pieces. So, I could do that. Recruit a tank that is level 20 or higher. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy. But, again, I th then I'm going to have to upgrade it to level 40, and I, I currently don't have the option to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to destroy all these things for Mirian. I have, unfortunately, not done that just yet. But I still have 9,000. 
So that should be fine. Now, the last round is the one where they give us what? The Citadel upgrade for the region fortress. I guess we should do that. I guess we should do that. I don't think anyone has so far fought against my fortress online. I don't think so, at least, unless they don't give you any notification surrounding that. I, d I don't actually know, but yeah, hopefully someone is going to attempt it sooner or later, because I'd love to be able to find out whether Ushak, who is our current overlord, is going to do a really good job. Hopefully he is. Wow. This opponent is crazy cool looking. Oh, he's, oh, he's dazed by fire? He's literally dazed by fire. Why are you attacking someone other than the guy that... Oh my. Pash. If you lose this, it is only because of your own ineptitude. Because he should go over there and continue hitting the guy so that he can continue dazing... Uh, continue dazing him. Oh no. Now he's getting stunned. Now he's getting murdered. And now he's probably going to get cursed very soon. Oh no. Come on. Come on, use your flames. Oh no, don't do that. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. But maybe he's going to pull it out. If he can daze him. I don't know why he's doing this all the time. I, I, I wish... You know what I wish? I wish I could kind of influence the battle a little bit. By giving commands or something. Like, use your weapon. Use your fire weapon, please. That would make so much difference right now. He is using it, but he's unfortunately getting dodged most of the time. I think he's actually going to die. Oh, he got him. Yes, he got him. And now he's doing that again. I don't know why he does that. If he just continue attacking him with the weapon, I'm pretty sure he would have a pretty easy time of things. Well... If he does die, then at least we get a good piece of loot, I suppose. Because this guy is level 47, so we're probably going to get something pretty cool. I have a feeling that Pash is going to die. If he doesn't land another attack with his flame weapon very soon, then I think we're going to have a problem here. It's going to be close. Whatever the case, it's going to be close. Ooh, he's in oh, he's enraged. Oh, no. Yeah, Pash is dead. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. A cursed terror assassin. He looks so cool, doesn't he? He just looks really, really cool. All right, so he's over there. We're probably going to go over there and just say hi, because we really don't want him to escape. Oh, he's retreating. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Now, of course, I would have loved to have dominated that guy, but obviously he's level 49. That's just way, way too high for us right now. Rune of Conquerors. That's what he gave us. That's pretty decent, I suppose. I mean, at the moment, we have 50% increased damage dealt by Uruk allies, which is what we already have. And otherwise, yeah, that's it. So, I guess the thing that we are currently using is absolutely fine. No problem there. All right. So, I suppose it is about time that we go and do the next main mission. I still can't figure out where to go for this. I don't know why, because I've, I've been to this over here, where it says the entrance might be, and doesn't seem to really give me anything. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look around a little bit more, I suppose, when I have a little bit more time. Anyway, we're going to take that experience boost and then head on to where we need to go. Many Gondorian soldiers remain in chains. Help Baranor rescue his men. Baranor. One of our scouts reported prisoners here. And far too many orcs to handle alone. Let's each take a flank and meet in the middle. I'll be there. But Baranor, we must be careful. Oh, right. Okay, so just rescue the Gondorians. That seems like a pretty easy objective. Well, there's the first one. That was easy enough. 
And well, there's only four of them? That's pretty that's pretty little, isn't it? Okay. Oh, big explosions. Yes, that's what we like. Oh, there's oh, there's two actually right here. Oh, that's great. I don't know how you finish, but thank you, Ranger. A good blow! Oh, yes, please, let, let me just roll into the fire. That sounds like a grand plan, indeed. Come on, let me do the last one at least, please. Thank you very much. Oh, the things we have in store for this one. Oh, I'd love for you to watch, but we have to be going. Ta-ta! It was a good effort, but it ends here. Your friend's gone, and you're about to see your insides become your outsides. Oh, well. Defeat to the two enemy captains. This is going to be fun. Okay, so there's a fire right next to us. Might as well make good use of it. Oh, I don't think I can dominate this guy, can I? Unlikely. You will serve the bright lord. Oh, never mind. Apparently I can. Okay. Well, he's very low level, actually. I'm going to tell him to stay and fight. But he is very, very low level, so he's probably not going to be the most effective, I guess. Okay, what I'm going to need to do is go up here and stealth attack this archer to get back my HP if I can. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. Hello. There we are. Yes, full HP. Thank you. That's easy enough, and hopefully we'll be able to dominate this guy as well. You fight for the bright lord. It feels like I need to do a little bit of leveling up with my army for the moment, because it seems like most of the orcs and uruks that I have under my command in this region are about level 25 average, and that's not necessarily the greatest level, but, well, maybe it will do. No, they have other plans. They're taking him to Gorgoroth. They're taking him to Gorgoroth, really? Are they? Because, from my reckoning, they're right here. <laughs> uh, I guess they just didn't expect anyone to dominate them. That's that's a bit weird. Oh well, there you go. So there's there's the first story mission that we've done in quite a while and I think that's actually it I don't think there are any other story missions in this area which is pretty interesting I would have expected maybe one more but seems like that's not anyway let's go to the world map then and see what other regions we can go to all right so where are we at the moment is this is this where we are right now no I don't think so are we is that where we are right now actually I think it is actually yes yeah, there we go. Overlord, Ushak the Unashamed. Yeah, he's only level 26. Really need to do a little bit of leveling with him, I, I would say. I think that would be really useful. Oh, there's Baradur. And we also have this one over here. Oh, view lore. Okay, so you can view lore about these places. And does that do anything to them? Or no, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Okay, so where's that? Oh, that's where, that's where Pug is. I need to return and actually level those guys up a little bit because they are quite low level as well. Okay, so where do we go? Well, it seems like Gorgoroth is a good way to go. Or maybe we should go over here. No, that's capturing the fortress, which we cannot currently do, and the Tower of Sorcery, and that's obviously Minas Morgul. And I guess that's it. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else that I can go. 
at the moment. So, yeah, let's go that way. Let's go to Gorgoroth. We will return to the previous regions to do a little bit of leveling up and things like that. But do let me know if you want to see that sort of stuff. Otherwise, I'll just do it off screen. I don't really mind. I am having a lot of fun with the game anyway. So, yeah. Let's have a look what happens here. Well, this is a vast difference, isn't it? Absolutely vast difference from the previous one where we were just like, Oh, snow! Snow is everywhere. Yes. Okay, so where's the first story mission? We need to go and do a story mission so that we can actually gain huge amounts of experience. Okay, so there we go. Work with Idril to rescue him. Okay. And I, I suppose along the way, we'll take a look and see if there's any any captains and what levels they are, because I actually don't know. So, I have spent a couple of points elsewhere. Let's have a look at what this is. Gain full might. No, I'm absolutely fine with not having that. Thank you. All right, so what about this? Pull an enemy towards you. Okay, so I believe that actually someone mentioned that that's pretty fun. So I'm going to use that just and see, you know, see how it goes. Otherwise, I did I did get this, which is when shadow mounting a broken Karagor, other nearby Karagors are dominated. I think that that is really useful. So hopefully we'll get a chance to use that. And hopefully I'll remember that I even have that available. Because most of the time I don't. Now, there's a reason why I shadow killed, or shall we say, stealth killed most of those, and that's because they have gems that I would very much like to acquire, because I haven't done a lot of gem upgrading recently, and I think it would be quite nice if I actually started to level those up to their maximum levels, because right now I'm, I think I'm using tier 4 gems, and I think you can get tier 6 gems as the maximum, so it would be quite nice to sort of improve ourselves just a little bit. But there is also a structure, statue, monument thing over here as well. So it might be an idea for us to take a look at that. I'm going to go and kill this guy. There we go. He's got a gem as well. Yes, give me it. Thank you. Where's the monument? I must have either missed it or it's ahead of me. It's probably ahead of me somewhere. There's another outpost mission here as well if we want to try and lure some of the orcs out. It would probably be a good idea for me to get some intel on the Overlord. That's what I try to do whenever I enter a new region. Obviously, I've only done it really once so far, so that's probably something I'm going to do now. Alright, so, ooh, they have many, many war chiefs here. This is going to be fun. Okay, so let's see. Ah, he's heavily damaged by stealth. Ur Heku Pain Lover. He's a masochist. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's see. Immune to execution, immune to curse. Immune to execution? Whoa, that's going to be harsh. He's also enraged by Frost. He's going to be pretty difficult, I guess. I guess we've just got to see what kind of, you know, war chiefs he actually has as well. Let's just continue on with those. It's only 500 feet away. Alright, so Baranor was taken by the Uruks, but he is not lost. Work with Idril to rescue him. And we get an Iron Guard skill upgrade. Oh, that's cool. Don't know what it does. Death would be relief to these men. The purpose of this camp is torture. Oh, well that's great. Yeah, I guess we're going to be doing a little bit of a little bit of stealth dominating, I suppose. We'll try and get most of these archers to follow us. Sounds like a good plan at least. Seems like one of those you know, when you first get dominate or brand, it seems like one of those missions where they're just like, "Oh, brand all the archers." You know? Seems like exactly that kind of situation we've got here. So I might as well take advantage of it, right? Okay, so the secondary objective is to actually rescue the Gondorians. And the primary is obviously to rescue Baranor. So I should probably do the side objective anyway. There we go. Oh, we've we've actually located him. We've located Baranor. Oh, well that was... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to continue branding here. There 
There we go. And there's a couple of other Gondorians down here. I'm going to activate my people now so that they actually start attacking the camp. And they will probably wreck a little bit of havoc. Why not? Am I being shot? Or what's actually interrupting me there for a second? Okay, so there we go. We've got those guys out of there. Ooh, I like the combat. The combat seems to be increasing in speed as we progress. I don't think that's the case. I think that's more of an illusion in my mind, but still. Seems actually to be a little bit quicker some of the time. Maybe that's just because we have full might at the moment and it does tend to make your movements a little bit quicker, maybe a little bit more attack speed or something like that. Then I get hit. Of course I do. Nice poison. Yes. Okay, I'm going to uncover these guys. Alright, it seems like most of the camp has been actually cleared out by our archers, rather hilariously. Now I just need to find two more Gondorians. Alright, one more. And I think that's probably... Is that the one over here? No, he's moving around, so it's probably not that one. Oh, that's that's him over there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. All right, well, there you go. There's the final Gondorian rescued. I actually don't know how much or if anything we're going to get from the side objective. We're probably just going to get a little bit of Mirian or something like that. And I suppose that's pretty decent. I mean, we always need Mirian to buy more silver chests or, you know, upgrade things, I guess. Well, who's this? This is a captain. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's a defender one. to rescue your friends. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint, but there'll be no rescue in here. Stand, man of the West. Yes, okay, so we're Idril's coming in there. I'm going to summon my bodyguard, actually. Which, which guy do I have as my bodyguard right now? Do I have any? <laughs> I don't think I actually have a bodyguard right now. If this isn't fate, then I don't know what is. You... Me, a death camp. I wouldn't change a thing. Well, he looks very, very pleasant, doesn't he? Oh, wow. Okay, I actually got killed by the smoke bomb, by the looks of things. Well, at least I've got full HP now. And I'm going to do some elven light. Punishment! <laughs> Yes, I pushed him onto one of his own mines, or I think I did at least. Wow, this guy is actually pretty difficult. Maybe he's going to be... Is he immune to arrows? He... No, he's not, but he's fireproof. Okay. That guy's now broken. Shall we dominate him? I'd like to dominate him if you wouldn't mind not killing him. Thank you. This guy could actually be a really, really cool bodyguard. So I'm going to say recruit and then hopefully we'll be able to. I mean, he might have iron will. Nope, he doesn't. All right. So, yeah, stay and fight for me, please. You have a poisonous weapon. That's going to be very, very handy. Got you, sir. Go. I will. Suffer. 
Right, seems like I'm just gonna have to wait until he attacks me. Idra was about to die, isn't that hilarious? That's not very good. Oh, okay, can I? No, I can't dominate this guy, unfortunately. And he's down. Yeah, I'm not high enough level for that, unfortunately, just yet. Level 33, am I? I think I'm level 33 right now. Ow. There's a lot of explosions going on, and Baronor is absolutely fine. Please, let it end. You're injured. It's nothing. You saved us. Again. You were right. Staying in Mordor is certain doom. But I cannot leave. My lady. Then we will be doomed. Together. Well, that's more like it, isn't it? That's exactly what I was complaining about beforehand. I was saying, well, why don't they just work together? Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, there's 970 million and a load of experience and a nice skill point there as well. Alright, activate this skill upgrade to make warriors you summon much stronger. Right. Okay. Well, that sounds good to me, I guess, and apparently uh, Talion and Celebrimbor don't want to say anything after missions anymore. Oh well. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so let's go to the top of the tower here and just uncover what we need to uncover in this region. And I, I, actually, I think I could probably do this off screen because, well, let's face it, it's literally just me scanning around and looking for things. So I'm going to do that, and in the next episode we're going to explore the region of Gorgoroth, and we're going to see what kind of orcs they have here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.